Okay, so I wanted to just go a little bit deeper into the switch work because I definitely don't want to gloss over something as important as this, okay? So we've talked about, you know, making your shadow list or just kind of dealing with things as they come. Um, but either way, again, you just have to kind of dive in. You just have to dive in, see what you're dealing with, deal with it, dust it off, and then move forward, reframe it in the future into something bigger and more beautiful um, for you and for your life. So it's all about flipping the switch, okay? We're going into these parts of ourselves that are that darker side. And, you know, like I said in the last video, we're just bringing them out into the light. We're just, we're just taking the mystery out of them, taking the negativity out of them, taking the error out of it and re just realizing the truth. You know, it's, it's really all it is. It's just a systematic way of doing it. We're just going and we're flipping the switch. We're making it happen. We're flipping all of the switches. You know, we are moving forward in a way where we know we're in control of ourselves. We know that we can choose what we believe. So we are choosing to make sure and take that time to look at each of our beliefs look at the experience in our life, especially the big ones, and, and make sure that the chips have landed in the right way. Make sure that we have processed that completely fully to the best possible way, okay? It's, it's a belief check. Okay, so going deeper into this, you know, you have your list, you're gonna work on it. You're not just, you know, you're going in, you're doing the work, you're doing the opposites, but sometimes not everything fits so nicely and neatly into this little box that we have, you know, of say something in the positive, say something in the negative, then say something for you and then say something for them, you know? So like our example was if you're, if they're being too critical, somebody's being too critical with you um, and you're saying, well, they're critical. And then you say, well, I'm critical. See how that affects you. See what feelings bubble up as a result of that thought. And then you say, well, he's not critical actually. You say, well, I'm not critical. Do I need to be more critical? Does he need to be more critical of other, you know, there's there's sometimes just different answers that pop up, but usually always you get some kind of a, a movement forward just by acknowledging this, just by taking it out and looking at it and looking at it from a different perspective from perhaps the last time you looked at it or whenever you packed it away sort of thing. Okay, but like I said, sometimes it doesn't fit neatly into those boxes. Sometimes it's not like, Oh, the opposite shows you anything. Sometimes you're like, well, that doesn't really necessarily fit. It just doesn't fit, feel right. It just doesn't apply. It's sometimes it's not something that is necessarily so easily to be seen or learned from, from looking at the opposites, looking at the, you know, for you versus him, the person, or looking at the yes versus no, um, or is doing this or not doing this. Sometimes it's just, you have to realize that you're, it's a little bit co more covert. You're, um, your beliefs and your expectations have somehow called this to you, called this situation, this uh, action, whatever it is, this, these feelings, you know, these words that came towards you that you didn't like, whatever you didn't like, whatever your complaint was, you know, it's brought you, you're, it's something that you believed somehow. And again, for the beliefs part, it can get pretty mystical. It's like, where is this coming from? Where do I track it down? You just have to kind of feel it out kind of like closing your eyes and trying to find out where you're going. You know what I mean? Um, but you can usually figure it out and still you're, you're able to just flip the switch. Um, again, it's, it's not always just something that you're doing or something that they're not doing or that you are doing or, you know, whatever. Again, sometimes it's deeper. Sometimes it's a belief. Sometimes you have to say, how am I drawing this situation? How am I expecting this to be the way that it's gonna go? Do I expect that people are gonna treat me like shit? Do I expect that people are gonna criticize me? Do I expect that people are gonna leave? Whatever your thing is, you know, all the, especially those things that you find, oh, this always happens to me. If you're getting your heart broken, if you're one of those people that just keeps on, always feel like they are getting their heart broken, why? Do you just believe that about love? Did, did something, you know, you have to say, go back to, Growing up, did you see relationships happen that weren't good or so you didn't, you know, there's usually some kind of 
linkage that you can put and that'll come up um, naturally. Just like I said, once you give yourself the space and time to do this work, um, but you do have to kind of feel around, you know, you do still kind of have to open it up just like the other, you, it has to be, you know, you're opening up that scab, you are dealing with it, you're, you're seeing, you're still opening it up, you know, just because it doesn't fit nicely in our little grid doesn't mean it's not the same thing. It is the same thing. You just have to look at the answer differently. And like I said, that part will come to you. You know, you don't have to know all the classifications. You don't have to know all of this. You just have to do it. It's all about doing. And the people who are scared to do it are the people who are just in their comfort zone where life is either really shitty or just mediocre or whatever it is. It's easy to get in your comfort zone with a mediocre life, but we don't want to have a mediocre life anymore. We know that we can have an even better life than ever before. Like we know that we can really turn up the notch and do the next level thing. Keep next level in. Because again, it's not just good for you, the people around you, your partner, it's good for everybody. You know, your neighbors, your family, your friends, their neighbors, the city, it's good for the, what's good. What If one person sits there and meditates, you know, it helps everyone around, whether you know it or not. And it's like when you get a bunch of people in one area, you know, meditating on a certain um, thought or a piece or whatever, they've shown with science that, um, like I said, a group of people can actually like reduce the crime rate in an area. And this is, this is science. So it's amazing. And it just goes to show that it's, it's just very, very, and I, I, I could go on for hours and I'm going to keep going on for hours because this is what I'm doing is bringing you guys this knowledge in a jam packed way. All the knowledge I've ever, uh, ever gotten, you know, the knowledge that I wish I could keep with me. And you know, that's what get, giving it to you guys like this, it actually reinforces it for my own brain. So anyway, Back to staying on task here, um, the belief check. What do I believe? What do I believe about this? Why am I attracting this to me? It, you know, and it could also be a fear. It doesn't have to be necessarily a belief and sometimes they are one and the same, but it's just the way you wanna look at it in any given situation to ide help identify. But you know, you can have expectations, you can have fears. Oh, I really don't want this to happen, but you're actually drawing it to yourself because you're putting negative energy in focus. What you focus on flourishes. You keep expecting the only the best, only the best things happening to you, always. You deserve it, you're worth it. The universe knows that. The universe has your back, you are supported. Your thoughts, your actions, your energy, all of your energy, your emotions, your spirit, it's all aligned for your greatest good. It's all aligned. You don't have any one part going rogue saying, I'm the true one, give me all the part, you know, give me all the parts. No, we're working together in harmony. And then you will, you attract, you just attract harmony in your life. So it really is as easy as just flipping the switch because again, you can take a belief. Well, why did I believe that belief? Well, that's a stupid belief. I don't want to believe that anymore. Bam. As soon as you say that's stupid, I'm not going to do that. I don't recognize that anymore. Bam. Things change like that. Like it's all here. It's all part of it. When you, when you attack it like that too, it's like it has nowhere to go. It has nowhere to hide in the shadows anymore. This is how things hide is because there's so much disconnect in between our, our different sides of ourself. The mental, the physical, the spiritual, etc. So we can go and run and hide in different places literally what's going on with like disease and stuff like that so i am doing that he is doing that he's not doing that we are doing this together we are not doing this together you know the inside and the outside okay the past the present and the future okay sometimes you realize people's criticisms are helpful and that you need to hear what they're saying to you you, they're sending you a message and you didn't even know it. Sometimes you think you learn things about yourself. You call your own self out on stuff. You grow. Wherever you do, it doesn't matter. It's helping you grow. It's a very, very important tool. So like I said, any work that you can do, any little second of the day, while you're driving, do some shadow work. Oh, you see a person you pass a judgment? Do it right then. You know, you can't get something out of your head. You ever had that? Oh, this ending to a movie just really rubbed me the wrong way. Or this argument that I had, or or ten years ago, you know, I just realized I still have beef with a certain situation. You know, doing the inner work. You know, sometimes we think we need to work stuff out with other people, and we just need to work it out with ourselves and move on. You don't have to work it out with anybody. You can forgive from a distance and continue to love yourself and put yourself first, and then forgive yourself as well. So. 
what have we got here? Yeah, sometimes we just have beliefs that come in. Ideas, expectations, fears. Sometimes we just have certain habits, you know, just it's not even a conscious way of saying it, but it's what you've seen growing up. It's what you heard. It's what you felt. It's just the way that you thought things were. That's the way that you thought that things were supposed to be. That's how you thought they worked because that's what you were shown, you know. And at that point, it's not even a conscious thought. It's just it's the way things are. No, no. You can still go in and change it. You can still make these changes that will pop open the possibilities to your wildest imagination, to your whole dream. So like I said, do this like a fiend, you know? And you don't have to feel it deeply and get sad into it every single day. Like if you're doing big, heavy work, like on a big trauma that you've had, you know, that's obviously gonna take more time, more energy and all of that. And you might have to do it over the course of weeks and months, you know? But little things, once you deal with some of the bigger stuff and then you move on to dealing with some of the smaller stuff, it can be like, oh, like I said, just cleaning house, like just thinking out loud to yourself. You know, it's great because I love to talk to myself all the time. That's why I'm here talking to you guys so easily, you know, but I'm like sitting there talking to myself. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, well, I just, let's just do some work right here, right now. And I just talk myself through it and I'm like, yes, this is awesome. It makes it even more powerful, you know, when you, when you put it out there and carry it with you. And believe that it's going to help you and it will and then you just keep going through go through your whole list you know when you have time just have a little file like if you have a note write it down and deal with it whenever you can but check in often a lot of times it's just as simple as checking in truly feeling what you're feeling because sometimes if we just are so used to hiding our emotions hiding what's bothering us we don't want to bother other people and we're certainly too busy to deal with it ourselves you know this is just self this is just self-care Okay. And again, sometimes you're going to have a whole list of stuff on TV. Oh, well, this is pretty superficial. Like I can get through all this whole list in like 10, five minutes, you know, like it's fine, but the work is never done. This is a way of life. This is a lifestyle. It's something that you, it's going to bring you more joy than any one thing, you know, any one area of your life. Oh, focusing on my career. Oh, focusing on this. You know, no, this is, I mean, like it's all of it together and it's just so deep. Things will continually bubble up, whether it's just happening in your life at the moment or things that you didn't realize that you thought, even just minuscule little thoughts that you had wrong, minuscule little things that happened that you were just slightly off. You, you know, it's just reframing, realigning. This is staying in alignment with what truly is rather than our egotistical kind of imprint that we put onto everything, if that makes sense. Okay, so doing this work, like I said, this shadow work that we are talking about basically is the same thing as the inner child work. It's just that the inner child work is going back to the past. It's not just the past, um, but like the inner. Excuse me. Yeah, the past is the shadow work of the, the inner child work is the shadow work of the past. When you do shadow work on your past, it's called inner child work. It's the same thing. It's just that you wanna kind of have the mentality that you're doing both. Cause it's not enough to do one and then not the other. Because again, the foundation, the foundation that you've set, that you've laid is where everything else was laid upon that. So it's very important to get into the inner child work probably first and then go on to the shadow work. Even though, you know, in this program, I just talked about shadow work first and I put shadow work first, but that's because you need to learn how to do it. But, um, so we're going to come back in the next video and I'll actually get a little bit more into the inner child work. Then we'll talk about outer child work as well. So thank you for watching this video on shadow work. I'll see you soon.